September DIY Natural Fertilizer to Stop Harmful Fungi and Supercharge Your Soil Healthy plants begin with healthy soil. When the soil is alive, rich in nutrients, and balanced in pH, crops thrive with stronger roots, vibrant foliage, and better resistance to diseases. Gardeners often rely on synthetic fertilizers and chemical fungicides to achieve these results, but these quick fixes can harm long-term soil fertility and disrupt the natural balance of microorganisms. A more sustainable path lies in the use of natural fertilizers made from everyday household ingredients. At Soil and Crop Central, we value solutions that improve soil health, nourish plants, and combat common fungal threats without harming the environment. One such powerful preparation combines baking soda, brown sugar, and molasses into a liquid fertilizer that is simple to prepare, cost-effective, and incredibly effective in enriching the soil while suppressing harmful fungi. This guide will walk you step-by-step -step through how to prepare it, why it works, and how best to apply it to your crops for maximum results. The strength of this fertilizer lies not only in its simplicity but also in the synergy between its ingredients. To begin, you will need a 5-liter container filled with 4 liters of clean water. This will serve as the base of the solution and ensure that the nutrients dissolve properly for even distribution to your crops. All right, folks, the first ingredient we're going to add is baking soda. You're going to want to measure out one teaspoon and stir it right into the water. Now, baking soda is pretty famous for its ability to control fungi. But you know what? Its role in this fertilizer goes even further. It helps regulate the soil's pH, making conditions less favorable for those pesky pathogens while promoting better nutrient uptake. When you apply it regularly, you're supporting an environment where your crops can absorb nutrients efficiently and grow stronger against those fungal attacks. Pretty neat, huh? Next up, the second ingredient is brown sugar. Go ahead and add one teaspoon to the mixture. Now, I know it might seem a bit unusual to add sugar to soil, but trust me, the reason is rooted in microbiology. You see, brown sugar acts as an energy source for beneficial microorganisms in the soil. These little guys play a crucial role in breaking down organic matter into nutrients that your plants can actually use, improving root strength, and enhancing soil fertility. By feeding them with just this small dose of sugar, you're encouraging their activity and, in turn, boosting your plant's natural resilience. And now, for the third and perhaps most impactful ingredient, molasses. You're going to measure out 100 milliliters and pour it into the mixture. If you're using a small measuring cup, that's 4 25 milliliters portions. Molasses is packed with carbohydrates, minerals, and trace elements that stimulate those beneficial microbial populations. It enhances the soil's ability to retain nutrients and water, strengthens root systems, and provides fulvic acids that promote flowering, fruit set, and soil fertility. Plus, molasses contributes to pest and disease suppression by creating conditions that are just not favorable for harmful fungi and even acts as a mild organic insecticide. Amazing, right? All right, once all three ingredients have been added, you want to tightly seal the container and give it a good shake to dissolve the solids into the water. And there you have it. You now have a ready-to-use natural fertilizer that can be applied in two ways, directly to the soil or as a foliar spray. When you apply it directly to the soil, this liquid works both as a fertilizer and a natural fungicide. Go ahead and pour the mixture at the base of your plants, making sure it reaches the roots where it can be most effective. The baking soda immediately helps neutralize those pesky, harmful fungal spores present in the soil. Meanwhile, the molasses and brown sugar feed beneficial microorganisms, which in turn unlock and release nutrients in forms the plants can absorb. Now, for crops like cucumbers, peppers, or tomatoes, a thorough soil drench with this mixture promotes robust root development, strengthens plant immunity, and improves nutrient uptake. This dual benefit, feeding the plants while protecting them, makes it a powerful tool for sustainable gardening. While soil applications nourish roots and microbial life underground, foliar sprays provide plants with a quick nutrient boost through their leaves. To prepare a foliar spray, measure one liter of the fertilizer mixture and dilute it further with half a liter of water in a sprayer. 
This additional dilution prevents leaf burn and ensures the nutrients spread evenly across the leaf surfaces. Spray the fertilizer generously over the foliage, covering both the upper and lower leaf surfaces. This not only delivers nutrients directly into the plant system, but also coats the leaves with a fine protective layer that discourages fungal spores from establishing themselves. Foliar applications are particularly useful during critical growth stages such as flowering or fruit setting, when plants demand extra energy and protection. The success of this natural fertilizer lies in the complementary roles of its ingredients. Baking soda is the frontline defense against soil and leaf fungi, creating an unfavorable environment for harmful organisms. Brown sugar acts as the energy booster for beneficial microbes, ensuring they thrive and continue breaking down organic matter into nutrients plants can readily absorb. Molasses serves as the powerhouse, providing minerals, fulvic acids, and carbohydrates that strengthen both soil and plants. Together, these elements transform the soil into a balanced ecosystem where beneficial microbes dominate, pathogens are suppressed, and plants enjoy steady access to nutrients. Unlike synthetic fertilizers, which can disrupt this balance, this natural preparation enhances the soil's long-term fertility while safeguarding crop health. Consistent use of this fertilizer yields cumulative benefits. The soil gradually becomes more structured and fertile, holding water better and resisting erosion. Crops exhibit stronger root systems, greener foliage, and more abundant flowering and fruiting. The improved microbial activity ensures that nutrients are recycled efficiently, reducing the need for external inputs. Furthermore, by reducing fungal infestations naturally, this approach minimizes the reliance on chemical fungicides, which often harm beneficial organisms alongside the harmful ones. The result is a sustainable cycle of soil enrichment and plant protection that benefits both the garden and the environment. For optimal effectiveness, it's best to apply the fertilizer during the cooler hours of the day, either early in the morning or late in the afternoon. This timing, you know, prevents rapid evaporation and ensures maximum absorption by both roots and leaves. Reapply every two to three weeks during the growing season and be sure to adjust the frequency depending on the health of your soil and the needs of your crops. When using it as a foliar spray, just make sure the leaves are dry before application and uh, avoid spraying during intense sunlight, as this can reduce effectiveness. For soil applications, ensure the soil is moist before pouring the solution allowing the roots to absorb nutrients more efficiently. Healthy soil is really the foundation of healthy crops, and natural fertilizers like this one provide a simple yet powerful way to achieve both. By combining baking soda, brown sugar, and molasses in a 4-liter water base, you create a fertilizer that not only feeds your plants but also combats soil and leaf fungi. Its dual application, through the soil and as a foliar spray, ensures comprehensive benefits, from stronger roots to greener leaves and, yeah, improved harvests. At Soil and Crop Central, our goal is to bring you practical, actionable solutions that make your gardening more productive and sustainable. If this guide has been helpful, we encourage you to put it into practice, see the results for yourself, and share it with fellow gardeners. Don't forget to subscribe to Soil and Crop Central and share this resource with your friends and family so more growers can benefit from these natural, effective methods.